In this video, we will discuss retention policy management. Retention policy management is accomplished through retention tags and retention policies. Retention tags apply retention settings to messages and folders in Exchange 2010. There are three types of retention tags. Retention policy tags, which are created for default folders such as the inbox or deleted items. Default policy tags, which apply to all items that do not have a retention tag. And personal tags, which you can apply to custom folders and emails in Microsoft Outlook. Retention policies allow you to group one or more retention tags to a retention policy and apply them to one or more mailboxes. We will also review legal holds, which let you immediately preserve all mail, including deleted items, edited email, appointments, tasks, and calendars. In this video, we will create policies through the Exchange Management Console. However, you can also create policies in the Exchange Management Shell. In this video, we will look at Bob Kelly's mailbox. To create or edit retention policy tags, we'll open the Exchange Management Console, expand Organization Configuration, click Mailbox, and then we click the Retention Policy Tags tab. To create a new tag in the Actions menu, the new Retention Policy Tag link is available. As you can see, we've already created some retention policy tags. Now we'll look at two types of policy tags, the retention policy tag and the default policy tags. First we'll review the retention policy tag inbox default. Notice the tag type is set to inbox. Because the inbox is a default folder, Bob will not be able to edit this setting. The age limit is set to 365 days or one year. Based on the expiration day, the action is set to delete and allow for recovery after one year. However, we could select other actions, such as permanently delete. We can also disable the tag from here. Finally, we see the comment box, which lets administrators type a brief summary of the retention policy tag. Now we'll compare the inbox default to the default policy tag, supplier purchase. The age limit is set to 1,095 days, or 3 years. The tag type is Personal Folder, and the action is set to Delete and Allow Recovery. Because we assign this default policy tag to the Personal Folder tag type, Bob will be able to assign the tag to his personal folders or email messages. Next, we'll look at Retention Policies. Retention policy tags must be linked to a retention policy to be effective. After we link a policy tag to a retention policy, we can assign a mailbox or mailboxes to the retention policy. To create a new retention policy, in the Action menu, we'll click on New Retention Policy. Name the retention policy Final Reports. Click Add to link the policy tag to the retention policy. We will choose the Sales Report tag. Click OK and Next. Now we will add Bob Kelly's mailbox. Choose his account and click OK. Next, then New, and Finish. The final report's retention policy has been successfully created. Now we'll look at the default archive policy. You can see the policy tags that have been assigned to the default archive policy. You'll notice the inbox default policy tag is included in the policy. And under the mailboxes tab, Bob's mailbox is linked to the policy. The other tags that have the personal folder type assigned to them will also be available for Bob's personal folder and emails. We have created policy tags and assigned a retention policy to Bob's profile. Before we see how these new settings affect Bob, we'll apply a legal hold on his mailbox. Now we will enable legal hold for Bob's mailbox in the Exchange Management Console. By enabling Legal Hold, Exchange will track all changes and will keep track of all deleted items. Now we'll open Bob's Microsoft Exchange Mailbox and see what retention settings Bob has for his default mailbox and personal folder. To check the retention policy, we'll go to the Properties of Bob's Inbox and select the Policy tab. The folder policy for his inbox is set to one year and Bob cannot edit this setting. 
As you can remember, Bob's inbox retention policy is linked to the default archive policy, and his inbox default policy tag is set to 365 days, or one year. Now we'll look at the policy tag options of Bob's personal folder named My Team. Open the properties of the folder and select the policy tab. The default is to set to Use Parent Folder Policy, but Bob can also apply different tags if he wants to change the retention policy of the folder. Finally, we will look at the policy tags available for individual email messages. Bob's email will have the same tags that were available for his folder. Bob can choose the policy he wants to apply for the email. We'll assign this email the Sales Reports Policy tag. Any assigned policy for an email will also override the folder policy it's in. After an email inherits or is assigned a retention policy, readers will see the policy at the bottom of the email message. Bob sees the Sales Reports retention policy at the bottom of the email message. Now that we've explored all of the options and benefits of retention policies, we'll look at legal hold. To see if Bob's mailbox has a legal hold applied to it, we'll search the Exchange Control Panel for mailboxes on legal hold, and you'll see Bob's mailbox is on legal hold. Now, any changes or edits Bob has made will be saved, and items deleted from his mailbox are not purged from the system. In this video, we saw how to create a retention policy tag reviewed the various settings, and surveyed the different types of policy tags. We've also linked retention policy tags to Bob's mailbox using retention policies and applied a legal hold to his mailbox. These new policy features help administrators and users better manage emails by offering policies that automatically move messages to the appropriate folders for archiving or deletion. Through legal hold, companies can also retain vital information that they may have previously deleted or manipulated.